hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be making this caribbean dish jute leaf yeah jute leaf on this recipe i will need my four chicken laps four chicken laps and now i will add my four medium size onion cut into four my salt to taste my maggi seasoning of water this actually need more water because I'll be using the chicken broth for this recipe then I will be adding my cinnamon powder a spoon full of cinnamon powder And this you leave to cook for 20 minutes so guys the chicken has been cooking for 20 minutes and yeah it's all ready so what I'll be doing now is to separate the chicken from the chicken broth So guys, back to the sauce that I'll be using for this recipe, that's my sesame oil, which I'll be using to fry the sauce. You can use any vegetable that is available for you, but for me, this is what I really want to use now. So now I will be adding my chopped garlic. You stir that nicely. To enable it not to burn, I'll add my chopped onions. stir that nicely and guys my heat is on a medium one on a medium flame because we want it to burn so you stir that nicely turn it until golden brown Can you see that guys? Yeah, can you see that guys? Now guys, I will add my selection leaves. Selection leaves are rich in minerals and vitamin. And you can also use this to detoxify your body. Yeah, guys. You stay that combined very well. You stay together until when combined and well fried. 
now guys my heat like i said is in a low flame so what i'll be doing now is to add my chopped tomatoes why that has it fried a little bit i will add my chopped tomatoes to it and stir to well combine stir nicely you fry that for about five minutes so guys what i'll be doing now back to my chicken bread this is my jute leaf moloki in caribbean language that is what i'll be using for this recipe it's actually a frozen one it's not a season back there in nigeria we we call it a widow but we prepare it in a different way now this you can use for your rice you can also use it for swallow but i will be using it for my burger weight and eventually you can use it for to, uh, for swallow maybe later on i'll also be using it for swallow but for today i'll be using it for burger wheat and eventually Maybe on my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to preserve the burger with and eventually. So now, back to my sauce is ready. What I will be doing now is to off, to off the flame from it. Off the heat. My jute leaf has been cooking. For five minutes now what I will do is to add the chicken which I prepared I've already deboned the chicken and I'm adding it to the jute leaf Molokie. you add the sauce guys this Molokie is so delicious my kids actually love it and I love it Trust me guys, you try you try it just as I did. Try use the process that I've used earlier now that I'm using now and you won't regret at all. Can you see that this does not take me less than 30 something minutes, 35 minutes to cook? It's very easy one and tasty at that. So guys, if you have been coming along to my channel, I'm saying God bless you. And to, if today is your first time of coming, please click the red button, subscribe to my channel. That's the four spoon of lemon I'm adding to this before you off the flame from it. This has been cooking for 10 minutes now. And so guys, can you see that? My jute leaf molokie, he will do in Africa and Nigeria is ready. I don't know what other country call this, but in Nigeria we call it a widow. Guys, you need to try this. Bye bye. See you. Enjoy.